And what is up guys? Welcome back to your Sellers Yourself for another video. So guys, I know I said that there probably wouldn't be many more booster packs coming on the channel. Um, a little while ago, you know, when we finished that, uh, the third part of that pack opening, I was like, you know, this is probably it for a while, you know, so on and so forth. But guys, I may have told a story because uh, I actually was able to find a pretty good deal on eBay the other day for some more booster packs, guys. And uh, it really just went to show me how important persistence is when you're running any sort of a, a small business. So basically what happened was, as most of you guys know, there's been a lot more booster packs that have been being pumped into the market recently. You know, there's a big giant seller in California who had come out, you know, with like 180 booster packs. So it was like six or nine cases where the booster packs and then a bunch of loose booster packs. I think there might still be some loose booster packs up on uh, eBay right now that don't have the cardboard backing for whatever reason. But uh, there's been a lot more booster packs showing up. There's that guy and then there's one other seller, you know, there's a seller I bought the 20 booster packs from who had just, you know, magically popped up with 20 booster packs. I know there's a guy in Spain who has at least five or six cases of booster packs. There's just a lot more that are showing up on eBay lately. And this is a really good thing because honestly, I personally think it's gonna start dropping the prices down because uh, when it's just one seller, you know, that's selling booster packs, they're pretty comfortable leaving the price high because they're the only ones who have them, you know, simple supply and demand. But as a bunch more enter the marketplace, you know, then they stop selling. And then, you know, because people are waiting for the prices to drop, so on and so forth, and other sellers get impatient. They say, you know what, I just wanna sell them, you know, I'm not interested in holding them for two years to sell through them. So uh, prices start to slowly drop in. I think we're hitting that point, guys. There's a lot of booster packs, at least three or four sellers that have booster packs listed on eBay. And it's also great news for everybody who is a big fan of the trading card game, but doesn't wanna, you know, spend $1,000 to get uh, three or four 3D foil cards because they can take chances on booster packs. When booster packs are, you know, 50 to 60 bucks a pop, people can, you know, afford to take chances on them and, you know, take the risk and hope to, you know, get that experience of ripping open the pack and getting a 3D foil. But at a hundred bucks, it's just not worth it. But uh, anyways, that's just my theory. I do think the prices are going to start coming down on the booster packs and by extension, 3D foils. My, my 3D foil prices are probably going to stay about the same until there's more of that same 3D foil listed, just because it's so pretty freaking hard to pull specific 3D foils out of packs. But, uh, you know, if we get to the point where there's like four or five different sellers all having, you know, light speed cards, so on and so forth, then naturally, you know, I'll drop my price because uh, my goal is normally to be the cheapest or right on par with the cheapest price on eBay for just about everything that I sell. You know, it's simple uh, inventory turnover. You know, you don't want to have stuff in your inventory that just sits for like nine months and you never sell. It doesn't do you any good. It's just money sitting there. But anyways, guys, I got a little bit distracted. So what happened was that big seller in California has all those booster packs. He's sort of been struggling to sell through them a little bit. Well, I shouldn't say struggling. People are buying two or three here and there. I know one of you guys recently bought a case from him, a case of 12. But uh, anyways, they've sort of been selling slowly but surely, but he switched it up. And instead of his you know listing where you can buy a case of 12 and he has a listing where you can buy individual booster packs, he listed a lot that had three booster packs in it for like $270 or best offer, which comes out to like $90 a pack. And this is just something I tend to do whenever something new is listed on eBay that's accelerators that I'm interested in. Um, no matter if the price is $1,000 or $10,000, I always send in the best offer immediately as soon as it's listed just to uh, just see what the seller is thinking, you know, because sometimes somebody might list, you know, a factory sealed set for two grand or whatever. Maybe you'll send, hypothetically, you'll send an offer in of like a thousand just trying to get them to negotiate and they might accept it, you know, maybe they just are looking to sell it and they're not really interested in negotiating. You never know, it never ever hurts to send in a best offer. I send in best offers on almost everything that's listed on eBay. So naturally when I saw him list this new listing of Accelerators Booster Packs for $270 for three of them, immediately I sent in an offer of $150, just you know, $50 a pack, just to see if I get him to negotiate. And guess what guys, it immediately accepted my offer of $150. And I was like, what on earth is going on here? That's way below what he was listing for. And I know he has a pretty specific price point. He really didn't want to go below, you know, $80 a pack. So I pretty much immediately realized that there was an error in his listing because as most of you guys who sell on eBay know, there's two settings down below the price. One is um, instantly accept offers of a certain value. The other is instantly decline offers of a certain value. So like me personally, whenever I list something, I set it to decline offers of less than $1. That guarantees that almost every single offer that people send will come to you. But if you don't want to deal with all the, uh, the offers people send, you know, you can set it to, uh, you know, decline offers of less than $100, so on and so forth. But uh, when it instantly accepted my offer of 150, I pretty much immediately realized that he had mixed up those settings on his listings. And I bet you anything he had set that listing to uh, automatically accept any offers over a dollar or something like that. So naturally, as soon as it accepted my offer of 150, I pretty much immediately realized what happened. So I immediately sent in an offer of 120. 
And uh, I think I sent an offer of 120 for two sets of three, so six total packs, and it immediately accepted again. And I was like, oh, here we go. So then, you know, I wasn't sure 100% where his cutoff point was. So I sent another offer immediately for $100 for three packs, which is like $33 back. And it immediately accepted that too. And at this point, I'm like, oh, here we go. We're about to get a ton of packs. So then I went back and I was going to send an offer of $50 for three packs. But by that point, he had taken the listing down and ended it because there was an error in the listing. And he messaged me afterwards saying, hey, there was an error in the listing. No wonder you were buying so many, yada, yada, yada. But kudos to him because he did not cancel the sale. He upheld the sale. So what we ended up getting was a total of 18 booster packs for a total of like $970, which comes out to right at like $54 a pack, which is a fantastic deal based on the way prices are going. Like, as you guys know, I just spent $1,500 on 20 packs. So now I got 18 more for 970. Definitely a much better deal this time around. But like I said, I do have to just give him a little kudos because he could have been really, you know, a jerk about it and said, well, there's an error in the listing. I'm not honoring the sale. He could have just canceled it and relisted all those packs at $100 a pop. But, uh, but he stuck it out, he didn't. So I do have to shout him out for that because uh, he was an upstanding seller. And also let's be honest, he probably knew that if he did that, it would have immediately been four negative feedbacks for me for canceling the sale for that. But I honestly think it helped me that I was kind of sending middle of the pack offers, you know, 150, 120, 100. Because if I would have sent him offers, you know, of 20 bucks, you know, for three packs and it would have automatically accepted, then he probably would have gone ahead and canceled it because, you know, he doesn't want to give them away for free but I was still paying a solid price for them. So uh, anyways, like I said, we got 18 more booster packs for $973. Just a little, you know, lesson for you guys that goes to show, never ever hurts to send in a best offer. You never know what somebody's got their settings at. And uh, I probably send in, you know, dozens of best offers every single day on stuff that's listed on eBay. Let's be honest here. But uh, it's probably been hundreds, maybe even thousands of best offers since I've had something like this where the guy just accepted and it really surprised me. And I was like, what on earth? But that just goes to show it never ever hurts to send in the best offer. The worst thing they can say is no. But anyways, guys, I opened one pack off camera, so we only have 17 packs left. I did not get anything good out of that pack. Let me see, actually. I've got it right here. I just opened it a little bit ago. I just couldn't wait, guys. I get too excited. It was an armored plow foil car is what we pulled. And as you guys know, we pulled like 12 of those out of the last 20 packs, it seems like. So uh, anyways, on the channel today, we're going to be ripping open three of these booster packs right here. And we're going to be saving the other 14 like I did last time. We're going to divide them up into two pack openings of seven packs each just to sort of space them out a little bit because uh, let's be honest, if I opened 18 packs or 17 packs in one video, it would end up being like a 35 minute long video. And there's there's like 10 to 15% of you that watch all the way through every video. Huge shout out to you guys. You guys are devoted. But uh, I don't want to make people watch 30 minutes worth of videos. And I think seven packs per video is a pretty good way to make it, you know, right at like 10 to 11 minutes, not much longer. I think like an eight to 10 minute video is the perfect length. Anything over that is a little much. But anyways, guys, we're gonna go ahead and rip through these packs right here and see if we can get a 3D foil. I'm ripping this open on the camera because I know uh, there's some of you guys that say there's something like ASMR about ripping open this stuff. Let me see. Well, this is why I don't do it because now I can't get it open. Isn't that the worst, guys, when you go to open something and you rip off all the corners and you just can't get it open? There we go. So there's your ASMR, guys. Ripping it open. <laughs> All right, guys. So we have our three packs here. What are the chances of 3D4 on the one of these three? I'd say it's a pretty decent shot, honestly. If it's a one in six chance, there's a small chance that we've got it in here. Maybe what, like a 50% a chance or something like that. So let's go ahead and jump into this first pack here. As you guys know, in the last pack opening, we managed to pull a Hyper Synchro and a Phantom Form 3D foil. So we definitely had some great luck. I'm hoping it will transfer over to this opening today. So let's go ahead and jump into this first pack. We've got Endure, the Neon Pipeline Realm, Hyper Battle Spec, Vectra Metalloid, Mechanoid Destroyer, 2D, RDO 7 version 2, Engine Elixir, a Foil Bootlegger Reverse. Normally I'd, you know, turn my nose up to that, but I think I've been out of stock on Mint and Bootlegger Reverses for a while. So, We'll take it. Hyper High Voltage, that's a nice one. Shout out to Randy's Customs there. Magnetic Bounce, that's a great one too. Navigator, okay, so this is that pack pattern that's got a bunch of rarer cards in there. Navigator, Magnetic Bounce, so on and so forth. So that will wrap up the first pack. And I personally think that's where a lot of the value from the booster packs comes from. It's not so much, you know, it is a little bit boomer bust, you know, obviously with the 3D foils, but the, you can pull a lot of middle of the pack cards like Navigator, Magnetic Bounce, some of the rarer realm cards and uh, that are all, you know, like seven to $10 pulls. And uh, you can definitely make your money back there as well. It's not, you know, all predicated on the 3D foil. So second pack we've got 
engine elixir, the water realm, the labyrinth realm. Oh, I remember this pattern. What is it like? Visor mask, choke valves, maze minotaur, choke valves, visor mask, maze minotaur, maze minotaur. What's, what was that? That was it the chrome realm, the chrome realm. I don't remember what's after that. 3D foil torque jackhammer is after that. There we go, guys. A 3D foil in one of these three packs. Absolutely unreal. Look at that, guys. Now we have two torque jackhammers in stock. Look at that 3D foil card. It's such a bummer that the, the ring light doesn't, uh, doesn't show off the card to its full effect, but it does roll across the card as you move it. The wheels turn. So our first 3D foil pull out of these 18 packs is a torqued jackhammer. Let's go. Let's keep going here. We've got RDO6 version two. Hardened Underbelly. I always think that card is Jump Jets. It gets me every single time. Pick a line. Avalanche. Hairpin Turn. Jaw Jammer. And Arrow Package. All right, guys, on to the last pack here. What are the chances we can pull one more 3D foil? That would be crazy to pull two out of three. I might even open up a fourth pack just because we pulled the, the, uh, the Torque Jackhammer, just because I'm feeling the good vibes. Maybe I'll open up another one. So we've got Second Window 2 Tank, Folding Corners, Gear Crush, Burnout, Torqued Riveted, The Cosmic Realm. So can we get a Pipeline Realm? Nope, Spy Eye, Pulse Emitter, Bootlegger Reverse again. Wow, two Bootlegger Reverses and a Torque Jackhammer. You know, I guess that's just the way it goes sometimes. You can't really complain. Then we got Night Sight, Kamikaze Semis, Gyro Stabilizer, Slam Ram Hyperpod, The Ice Realm, and Windshark to wrap it up. Well, not too shabby at all. Out of three packs to pull a Torque Jackhammer, that is the way to do it. So we've already got one 3D foil out of these 18. And uh, like I said, the going rate normally is like one out of six for these 3D foils. So if you buy 18 packs, I'm assuming to pull at least two and three would be, you know, you'd think you would pull three, but I'm gonna say we're guaranteed to pull probably two out of the 18 and uh, three would be solid. But if we pull four out of 18, that's absolutely crazy. But anyways, I'm gonna hold off on opening one more pack this time around because every time I do that, I always end up going, man, why did I even open that? I should have just saved it for the next video. I didn't pull anything. So we're just gonna cut our losses here with this. No, I shouldn't say cut our losses. We're gonna cut our, our wins here. I don't know. We're gonna go ahead and stop here while we had a pretty good pack opening with the Torque Jackhammer. And that's gonna wrap it up for this video, guys. Like I said, I'm gonna be opening up the other 14 packs in two, seven, pack videos in the future so be sure to stay tuned on the channel for those hopefully we will get some more 3d foils maybe that elusive metro realm card that i've been searching for out of a pack forever it seems so that's going to wrap it up for today guys just want to share with you guys how i got these packs why it never hurts to send in a best offer on an item and do a quick little pack opening for you guys so that's going to wrap it up be sure to smash the like button for me subscribe to the accelerators hub for more accelerators related content and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out guys